Since I was uh, since I was old enough to remember anything, I've been always doing wee chores. You know, I used to say that I learnt to row before I learnt to walk. You know, so <laughs> was it? No choice. This short film depicts a local hero who, in his lengthy career, saved and inspired many people. This man is George Parsonage. To truly understand the remarkable nature of his work, we must first venture all the way back to the beginnings of humane society and the people that inspired George to start saving lives. Humane Society's work began in 1790, after the death of a Glasgow merchant who donated a large sum of money to start a lifeboat service in the Clyde. This was done because, after the deepening of the river, many people drowned. Ben Parsonage, George's late father, is the longest serving member of the Society, and his first recorded rescue was in 1919, at the young age of 16. When he died in 1979, his son George took over his role and has been serving with distinction ever since. The day my father died, he, he never wanted me to take over the job, but the day that he died, that afternoon, uh, a policeman who hadn't, he hadn't been told that my dad had died yet, phoned the house here that there'd been an incident on the river and I didn't bother telling him, I just went out and took his place and, and that was that, it just went on from there, you were sucked in, you just no escaping. Yeah. What has caused that is over 221 years. And we're trying to use that. We're back to the picking the football out of the water. Yeah. We're trying to use that experience to make sure that people don't make the same mistakes in the future. That the council don't put up a type of railing at the side of the river that's just a ladder for people to climb. Because if you look around, uh, you'll find that councils will have a flower bed. I've done this quite recently and not far from us, with a metre and a high vertical bar fence that nobody can go over. But nearby they've got a river with a one metre high fence of horizontal bar that either young children can just get through between the bars or the others it's just a ladder for them to climb over. We've got to get rid of that kind of uh, mentality, that kind of attitude and say look, that's what you put up. Prevention is far better than anything else. George, along with being a full-time member of the Glasgow Humane Society, is also an accomplished artist. In fact, before the death of his father, he was an art teacher, and in his youth, he had done a lot of sculpture, which he prefers over his paintings. However, both are done with considerable skill and flair. His metal work is of considerable pride to him, he uses materials picked up from the Clyde and its banks. He attended the Glasgow School of Art and won the Kepi Henderson Scholarship. George helps to fund the Humane Society by selling some of his works, with 50% of the profit goes to the organisation and the rest of George's upkeep. Award, awards are only medals and certificates and are only man-made accolades. I don't know how much actually they mean. I'm very proud of God. How much do you mean I just don't know? I used to joke with my dad that uh, the only time he got a medal, the only time we get medals was for doing something stupid. We're lifeboat officers, boat being the opposite of work. If you're not in your boat, you've made a bad mistake. Lifeboat men are not meant to go out of a boat. And yet, they only give you a medal for bravery if you do something stupid and leave your boat. Yeah, but using the knowledge of 221 years of knowledge, let's prevent accidents happening. And it's not rocket science. If you have a river and you have a fencing set back from the river, people will climb that fence to go and sit on the grass there to watch the river. So what do you do? You don't put up a bigger fence, you move the fence to the edge of the river, as close to the river as you can, so that people can come down and sit on the grass and watch the river. The Clyde, whilst being a signature of Glasgow's landscape, comes with many dangers that people are constantly exposed to. 
either through their own doing or by accident. The Glasgow Humane Society has for over 200 years patrolled the Clyde and Glasgow's other waterways to protect the community and prevent accidents. Because of this, George Parsonage truly is a local hero. <laughs>